Hey, what's guys? Welcome back to the channel. On this episode, we're continuing on the suits the best batteries. And on this episode, we're going to be talking about lithium AA batteries. So, when people hear the uh, term lithium AA batteries, they probably think Amazon or uh, Energizer Ultimate Lithium Batteries, mainly because they seem to be the de facto go to one widely known. It seems to be the primary one here in the US. And I don't know if that's entirely uh, the theory, what they have is all ultimately true one you know they have the patent here in the u.s and duracell has it everywhere else i'm not sure what the deal is but we're not going to talk about that but the point is at most major retail box stores you're going to see amazon uh energizer ultimate lithium batteries and they're the only lithium batteries that are currently available but now if you go on the amazon and some of the other online retailers you will see other brands out there so for instance we have one here called power owl and on this episode we're going to see if this lithium battery is any good on you know the test to see if it's actually worth the money because lithium batteries are obviously cost a little bit more money than alkaline batteries right so are they really worth it and then i'm going to see if i can reach out to the company and see if they can provide us like some discount code or something like that uh to see if we can go ahead and get some type of uh uh what do you call it discount for everybody watching this mainly because if it is good, I do want to see if we can get them for a little bit cheaper. But anyways, the point is, the real question is, is this battery any good? We're going to test that to see how it stacks up against other batteries we've tested so far. So, stick with us. And this is the Power Hour Lithium Battery. When you buy it, you get a box. Well, assuming you buy the 8-count, then you get an 8-count box. Lithium battery, they're packaged in two sets of four. Uh, they're kind of wrapped together with that plastic stuff. So lithium battery, extreme long lasting. It says right here, 3,400 milliamp hours. So we're actually going to see how true that is. There's not too much marketing on this, you know, especially on the front. It just tells you exactly what it is. But on the back, it says the, the battery system is lithium FES2. Uh, I'm sure we can eventually figure out what that really means. But the shelf life is 10 years, which is good. So if you're like prepping and storing up batteries, shelf life of 10 years, that's going to be good. Each one weighs approximately 15 grams and the manufacturing date is on the battery. So we're going to have to figure that out. Obviously, this is uh, made in China, as you see right there. But it's a high capacity lithium battery. And obviously, do not charge, expose to fire, all that kind of fun stuff with lithium batteries, right? So looks like this is also going to be sold in the UK and the EC and all these places. And there is a powerowl.net you can contact for this. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. On the side, it does say non-rechargeable and non-rechargeable. So here is the Power Owl battery. You can see right here, extreme long lasting power. Uh, the date code on this one is 2024 September 09. So let's go ahead and get this testing underway. Let's put this here into slot one. Set to discharge at 100 milliamps. And then set this one here to slot two. To also discharge at 100 milliamps. And take another one here. Slot three. To discharge at 200 milliamps we'll go here to slot four just want to take one final look at this battery just in case there was anything you guys wanted to see right do not put in water and keep dry it even says non-rechargeable on there just in case somebody tries to charge this it's interesting this is size aar6 lithium all right anyways let's put this here into slot four discharge 200 milliamps Considering these are lithium batteries, this is going to take a while, so we'll check back in a bit. First slot, 3,472 milliamp hours in 2076 minutes. Slot two, 3,486 milliamp hours in 2092 minutes. Slot three, 3,439 in 1028 minutes. And slot four, which is 3425 milliamp hours in 1030 minutes. So those numbers look really high. But how do they stack up on paper? Let's go find out. Looking at the board, let's start with the 100 milliamp hour test. Slot one, it took 2,076 minutes to discharge 3,472 milliamp hours. And slot two, it took 2,092 minutes to discharge 34. 86 milliamp hours on slot three which is the 200 milliamp hours it took 1028 minutes to discharge 3439 milliamp hours and then on slot four it took 1030 minutes to discharge 
3,425 milliamp hours. So there does seem to be tight grouping there, especially when it comes to the uh, time in milliamp hours. So that's pretty good quality control, we would say there, right? So let's go take a look at the averages since we like to average the two. So if you look at the average of the 100 milliamp hour test, the power out on the 100 milliamp hour test comes out to 2,084 minutes with uh, 3,479 milliamp hours discharged. And on the 200 milliamp hours, it took 1,029 minutes to discharge a 3,432 milliamp hours. So let's go take a little bit of a look on where it stacks up on the leaderboard. So the Power Owl, the 100 milliamp hour discharge rate uh, stacks, if you guessed, first on the leaderboard in first place, uh, followed up by the uh, Energizer Ultimate Lithium battery, which was always in first place this entire series until now, uh, because that one comes in at uh, 1,990 minutes to discharge 3,328 milliamp hours. So obviously there's a huge gap between the uh, lithium batteries and the alkaline batteries, but there's also a huge gap in the prices, right? So we're gonna come back and look into more of the details in just a little bit. Let's go take a look at the 200 milliamp hour discharge rate. So with the 200 milliamp hour, the power hour also comes in on first place with 1,029 minutes to discharge 3,432 milliamp hours. Also followed up by the Energizer Ultimate and then leaving a pretty uh, good size gap with the alkaline batteries and the energy or the uh, ultimate lithium batteries. So let's go take a little bit closer look at the details there, especially because there is a good amount of difference between the two. But before we do that, let's go take a look at the power owl test, right? So the power owl test going all the way back to the uh, first four individual tests, you can see uh, 1,028 minutes versus 1,030 minutes, which is a really tight grouping. And 3,439 versus 3,425, also really close on the uh, 100 milliamps, 2,076 versus 2,092, really close. And then 3,472 uh, versus 3,486 is also really close. So uh, we're not gonna pull up every uh, detail that we ran on the test so far, but even if you remember some of the previous tests, uh, you can tell that some of the groupings were not that close. But with the Power Owl one, the groupings are pretty close, which really makes me believe the uh, the quality control on each one is nice. Yes, we didn't do four bat or uh, four batteries on every one, but you know, uh, we didn't think about that at the time. So, <clears throat> going back and taking a look closer look at the batteries, let's take a look at the 100 milliamp hour rate. The 100 milliamp hour rate, uh, it had 2,084 minutes, which is a lot of minutes compared to 1,990 minutes from the Energizer, which is then followed up by the target up and up was 1522 and uh, 1506. So if you think about it in terms of minutes, sure it's not that much longer in terms of the grand scheme of, you know, let's say an entire day. But if you look at the milliamp hours, we're talking about 3,400 milliamp hours and then 3,300 milliamp hours, then it drops down to 2,500 and then 2,500 with the SAMS uh, members mark and then a Thunderbolt Edge, which is pretty much close to 2,500, right? So that is one way to look at it, which is the amount of time and then also the amount of milliamp hours that comes out of a battery. But the other way you can look at it is how much does it cost per battery? So uh, the uh, Power Owl, if you look at them on Amazon, which is the only place I was able to find them on, you can get about a uh, 24 pack for about $38. So that comes out to about $1.58 uh, per battery. If you look at the Energizer Ultimate ones, that one comes out to about $2 per battery. So it's close to about 50 cent more expensive. So that's another way to look at it. But if you're thinking about how much does it cost to run the battery, you can look at the milliamp uh, hours per penny. So the Power Owl gives you 21 or close to 22 milliamp hours per penny. And then the Energizer Ultimate gives you 16 milliamp hours per penny, right? So depending on your application, you can figure out what exactly you need to do. Do you want to run longer? Do you want more capacity? or do you just care about the value, then you can look at it that way. Uh, looking at the 200 milliamp <coughs> discharge rate, uh, 1,029 minutes, which is staggering, especially because if you look at the bottom of the uh, leaderboard, we got things that took 
uh, one, uh, 150 minutes. We got three digits versus four digits uh, and low there too. So let's go take a look at the uh, alkaline. The lowest alkaline battery we had here was a Thunderbolt Magnum, which was tied with the Varta Long Life at 558 minutes. So somewhere around 550. And then uh, the ultimate or, or the lithium batteries were in the uh, 1000s pretty much. Uh, whereas the highest uh, alkaline batteries were close to about 600 or 700, right? So there's a huge gap there. Also on uh, the milliamp hours, we're talking about 3,400 and 3,200 milliamp hours versus 2,000 milliamp hours. So that's also another way to look at it. And if you look at the cost per battery, it's still the same obviously, but if you look at the milliamp hours per penny, the Power Owl will give you 21.6 milliamp hours per penny and the ultimate, uh, energized ultimate lithium is about 15.76. So yes, the Power Owl still costs more per penny, but the battery itself costs less per battery. So that's one also way to look at it. What can we say about these batteries? Obviously, this is a very good alternative to the Energizer Ultimate Lithium batteries, mainly because uh, you're getting more performance and also cost less per battery, but not necessarily per a milliamp hours discharge per penny. So think about that way. So if you want batteries that you do not want to change, mainly because you have to, you know, climb up on a ladder and I don't know, whatever you got to do, then this is definitely a battery you should really pick up or just the lithium batteries in general versus the alkaline battery. But if you need lithium batteries and you don't mind changing them out more often, then maybe the Energizer Ultimate Lithiums are the way to go. But I do have to say, I'm very impressed with these batteries of these batteries we've never heard of before to beat out name branded uh, batteries like like, uh, Energizer uh, Lithium uh, Ultimate Lithium batteries, right? Since those seem to be the de facto go-to for uh, Ultimate Lithium batteries or Lithium batteries in general. So the fact that a brand like this that you can get on Amazon, which I think is only exclusively on Amazon so far, which I've been able to find them, is available that you can get that may cost more, but does really well for the money can be worth it. So anyways, hopefully, highly recommend these batteries if you ask me. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, have a great day. Get back to work and we'll see you guys next time.